Welcome everyone to class three of our introductory boxing, beginner boxing series, all right? So for class three, we're gonna focus on building on our footwork and building on the basics, all right? Now, I invite everyone to try every exercise, but if you're not comfortable with a certain exercise, don't be afraid to skip it, all right? And now, of course, try your best. Now, this is a home uh, boxing series, so that means you don't need any equipment at all besides yourself, and maybe a mat and some water. So I'm Coach Jimmy, I have my athletes here, Katula and eight-time national champion, Ibrahim Fire Amkramal. Keep in mind that this is a beginner boxing class and we recognize that not everyone has had prior boxing experience. So it, it might be a little bit strenuous for some, but you know, just try your best, go at your own pace. And remember, I want you to do it correctly before we pick up the pace, all right? And remember to take lots of rests while you need it, okay? All right, so this is supposed to be a home workout series. So for everyone at home, uh, it's gonna be minimal to no equipment, all right? So all the equipment you see here is just for demonstration purposes, all right? So we invite you to try every exercise, but if you're not comfortable with a certain exercise, you can skip it and remember to try your best. We're gonna get started with a nice and easy warm up, all right? So they're not gonna use the lines if they don't want to, the warm-up purpose of the warm-up is just to get their internal temperature up, the body warmed up to reduce the risk of injury, and to also learn some fundamental movement patterns as well as some sport-specific movement patterns. So now we're gonna get into a nice and easy warm-up. Uh, each athlete will do each warm-up exercise for about 15 seconds or 15 reps, all right? So we're gonna start off nice and easy, jumping jacks for 15. Right? Jumping jack is a simple but effective exercise. It does raise your heart rate, all right? Open up your legs and arms at the same time, right? Some people make the mistake of doing the opposite where they have their arms open and then they go like this, all right? So main thing, open your arms and legs at the same time. One, two, three, count me four. Good, all right. All right, next one, we'll get into knees up, just running on the spot. This one's gonna be a little bit high tempo again. So remember, go at your own pace. Katula will demonstrate a lower pace for any beginners, and then Ibrahim will demonstrate a higher tempo knees up running on the spot for you know, anyone who feels a little bit more comfortable. For 15 seconds, three, two, one, time's in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, good job. All right, next one we're gonna do, butt kicks running on the spot for 15 seconds. All right, so it's the exact same thing. Kutu will demonstrate a lower, slower pace and Ibrahim will demonstrate a higher tempo for anyone who's feel comfortable, all right? So butt kicks, you're just gonna bring your heels to your butt, same thing, all right? Running on spot, three, two, one, time's in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect, good job. All righty. Next, we're just gonna do a little bit nice and easy bunny hops left and right. All right, so bunny hops, you're just gonna keep all the weight on your toes. That doesn't mean you're gonna keep your heels up. All right, that just means most of the weight's gonna be on your toes. We're gonna go left and right over the line. All right, for, we'll do it for 10 seconds for this one, okay? Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right, now, very quickly, we're gonna transition to forward and backward uh, bunny hops over the line. So, forward and back, just like that, all right? On your toes, nice and easy. Remember to go at your own pace and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right, so as you can see, the athletes are starting to get warmed up just a little bit. We want to raise our internal body temperature, all right, get our blood flowing, all right, just to reduce injury. Now, next, they're gonna step back just a little bit and then they're gonna get into some leg swings. All right, so leg swings, main thing, you wanna step back and step one step into it to swing your leg, opposite arm to opposite uh, leg, all right? For 10, and go. One. Good. 
Two. Alternating each time. Nice. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Okay. Now they're gonna get in. They're gonna step back just a little bit, and now they're gonna get into some uh, knees up and open up those hips. Okay. So they're gonna do ten. They're gonna alternate each time, five each leg total. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, perfect. All right, now you're gonna get into a nice wide athletic stance, wider than shoulder width, and they're gonna do some trunk twist. All right, for ten seconds, nice and easy, at your own pace, and go. One, two, three, four, good, five. Notice that their legs six, stay still. Seven, All in the trunk. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now all they're gonna do, they're gonna hinge at the hips, and they're gonna do the same thing, trunk twist, touching your toes for ten seconds. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And good. All right, next, they're just gonna give me five nice and easy squats. So squats, I want everyone to be feet at least shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out. All right, and when you squat down, think about sitting in a chair, keep your back straight, all right? So that's nice and easy, five at your own pace. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, Five. Good. All right. Now they're gonna do some side bends. All right. So side bends will work a little bit, stretch a little bit of the lat, and also work some of their oblique muscles at the same time. Okay. So they're just gonna do ten side bends. All right. They're not gonna bend over too much. Bring that arm over each time. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. One. Just like that. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. So now at this point that they've done a little bit of high tempo warm up, just to get their heart pumping, their blood flowing, the body warm. All right. Now we're gonna do some dynamic stretching. All right. So dynamic stretching is basically where we're stretching the muscles in a way that. We're always moving, all right? So we don't want to be static stretching where it's just a stretch and hold, all right? That is not conducive to athletic performance, all right? So dynamic stretching, we're gonna start with our neck. We're just going to look left in one direction, dip your chin down nice and easy, nice and slow, and look the other way. 10 seconds back and forth at your own pace. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Next, we're gonna do arms to go forward, nice and big for ten, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now back. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're gonna do arms alternating up and down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now they're gonna do some self hugs and go for ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, now 
They're gonna just spread their feet nice and wide. They're gonna reach forward, middle, and then back, keeping the legs straight, kind of pulsing the stretch in their legs each time, okay? This one for 10 seconds, so give a count of 10, just like this, one, two. Ready, three, two, one, and go. One, two. That's it. They're just hinging at the hips. Three. Keeping their legs straight. Four. This is a dynamic stretch. Five. You should feel it in their legs. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. All right, and time. So that is a nice and easy warm up. Now we're gonna get into our boxing. Very quickly going to recap our boxing fundamentals, all right? So that means we're gonna very quickly go over our stance, our punches, and our defense that we learned yesterday, all right? So if you're right-handed, we're gonna drop your right leg back, and if you're left-handed, you're gonna drop your left leg back, all right? You'll notice Katula is wearing boxing gloves. That's for demonstration purposes only, all right? You don't need any equipment at home. Good. Now, we're gonna have a slight bend in our knees, all right? Nice and relaxed. They're going to bring their hands up, curl their fingers in, thumbs on the outside, hands up, chin level, elbows in, protecting their body, all right? And I want their chin just slightly tucked in, good. So nice and relaxed, in their stance, the knees are bent, good. Now the six basic punches. So number one is a jab from our front hand straight punch, all right, from our front side. So do it with me, one. Good, they're going to add a little small step with it. Now, when they throw their one, one. One. Good, one more time, one. One. Good. Now, they're gonna throw the two. Two is a stationary straight punch from our back hand, all right? So remember to rotate the hips, Tony hip arm. And go, two. Two. Good, one more time, two. Two. Good. Now, one thing to remember when you're punching, always keep one hand on your chin no matter what. Good. Now, three will be our front hook. Our lead hook is a looping punch. All right, so nice and easy, three. Three. Good. Notice you're gonna rotate your hips with it, Tony, hip, arm, one more time, three. Three. Good, now exact same thing, four will be our rear hook. Okay, so four, same thing, just from our back hand. Four. Good, no, notice the hip rotation, Tony, hip, and arm, one more time, four. Four. Good, all right. Five will be our front up cut. All right, up cut just coming straight up the middle from our lead hand, so five. Five. Good, and then always bring your hands right back to our chin. One more time, five. Five. Good, last punch, as you can guess, our back uppercut, very easy, uppercut from our back hand, six. Six. Good, you're just gonna rotate the hips into it just a little bit, six. Six. Nice, all right, now we're gonna go over the basic defense really quick, all right, so the basic defense to the one, two, it's slip, Slip, all right? So the main thing you want to think about, take your head off the center line, left or right. Slip, slip. Good, one more time. Slip, slip. Good, and always keeping your hands up on your chin, all right, in our stance, good. Now for the three, four, all right, you're gonna go under, under. Initiating the movement with your knees and then going under the punch, under the punch, and go. Under, under. Good. As you can see, Kutu is demonstrating the stationary under, under. Ibrahim is demonstrating the little bit more advanced sidestepping under, under. All right, good job. Good. Now our last two defense will be five and six. So the defense in five and six, you have two options. You can either lean back or you can step back. Good. All right. Okay, now we're going to move on to our specific, specific boxing warm-up drill. All right, so today's specific boxing warm up drill is gonna be, we're gonna be in a square stance. So nice, wide athletic stance, slight bend in our knees, okay? We'll keep our hands up. All right, for this drill, we're gonna be punching to the side and to the side. All right, main thing, you wanna take a look at my hips. All right, my hips are turning with each punch and the back foot is pivoting each time, okay? So this drill is a great way to teach us uh, beginner boxers to generate the power in each shot, all right? So it teaches us how to pivot and rotate our hips with the punches. Okay, so boxes, nice wide athletic stance, a slight bend in your knees, hands are up, chin level, all right? We're gonna be punching out, left and right, turning our hips and pivoting the foot with it, 
All right, Ketula, just feet in just a little bit more. And remember, keep a nice bend in your knees. Ready? And time is in. That's it. Good. All right, we're just going to stop left and right. No stopping in the middle. That's it. Good work. All right, you can stop on the left or right when your punch is fully extended just a little bit, just to check your balance, make sure you're nice and balanced. All right, and then go punch to the other side, turning your hips nice and pivoting that back foot. That's it, good work. All right, you can stop on the left or right when your punch is fully extended just a little bit, just to check your balance, make sure you're nice and balanced. All right, and then go punch to the other side, turning your hips nice and pivoting that back foot. That's it, good work. All right, you can stop on the left or right when your punch is fully extended just a little bit, just to check your balance, make sure you're nice and balanced. All right, and then go punch to the other side, turning your hips nice and pivoting that back foot. That's it, good work. All right, you can stop on the left or right when your punch is fully extended just a little bit, just to check your balance, make sure you're nice and balanced. All right, and then go punch to the other side, turning your hips nice and pivoting that back foot. Time. Next boxing drill, all right. It's gonna be same starting position. Nice, wide, athletic feet. All right, slight bend in your knees, hands are up. All right, we're just gonna be slip, slip, sit down. Okay, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna move on to under, under. So it's gonna be some fundamental boxing drills, all right, but it's gonna be in a square stance, just to help us build the muscle patterns and muscle memory. Okay, so box is nice, wide, athletic stance, starting off, we're gonna do slip, slip, under, and go. That's it, slip, slip, sit. Yes, you got it. That's it, good work. You don't have to sit too much, just a nice, small sit. Good job. Good, now we can switch it to under, under. Go. Good job. Just under, under, sorry, not bad. Just under, under. Remember to take your head in a U shape. Remember to go at your own pace. Good job, keep it up. Good, now in a square stance, we're just gonna be punching out. One, two, one, two. All right, and go. That's it. We're gonna do each drill for about 30 seconds. Good job. Remember to fully extend your punch. And just like Ibrahim, your shoulder will be up once your punch is fully extended, just to protect yourself, good. Remember to keep a slight bend in your knees. Good work. All right, now, last one, we're gonna go back to the slip, slip, under, just to build some more defensive muscle memory. And go slip, slip, sit, sorry, slip, slip, sit. Good job. Keep it up. Always keep your hands on your chin, looking straight forward at your opponent, your imaginary opponent. And time. Okay, so now we're gonna progress our footwork. We're gonna work on some linear movement. So that means forward and backwards, okay? So my athletes are gonna be in their stance, all right? Remember keeping the rope in between your legs at home. You don't need a rope. Just imagine a line in between your legs, okay? They're gonna work on one, two, going forward, nice and easy at your own pace, three times. One, two, one, two. And then once you go forward three times, you can go back three times, okay? One, two. Remember, when you go in front, front leg first, right? And then when you go back, 
back leg first. Okay, so three times, one, two, going up, and then three times, one, two, going backwards, okay? And time's in. That's it, good job. That's it. Remember to fully extend your punches. Good. And always in your stance, keeping the line in between your legs, making sure you don't cross your feet. Time. So now the boxers are going to work on lateral movement, which means left and right. So they're going to be in the stance, right, facing towards the camera. Now you see the line is going between their legs, but it's going laterally. All right. So they're going to throw the one going left three times. So just like this. And then once they do that three times, you're going to go to the right three times. One. Okay at their own pace. So make sure you're spread out, good in your stance, hands are up. So one to the left three times and then one back to the right three times. Make sure not to cross your feet and go. That's it, good job, keep it up, you got it. Good. Remember, always bring your hands back to your chin. Since you're now throwing your rear hand, your rear hand should be glued to your chin. That's it. Good job. Keep it up. You got it. Good. Remember, always bring your hands back to your chin. Since you're now throwing your rear hand, your rear hand should be glued to your chin. That's it, good job, keep it up. You got it. Good, remember always bring your hands back to your chin. Since you're now throwing your rear hand, your rear hand should be glued to your chin. That's it, good job, keep it up, you got it. Good. Remember, always bring your hands back to your chin. Since you're now throwing your rear hand, your rear hand should be glued to your chin. Fine. All right, now we're gonna move on to 
some shadow boxing, all right? So we're gonna combine our footwork with our shadow boxing now. So this first round, we're gonna work on one, two, step back, two, all right? So we're, you're gonna be in your stance, one, two, right? You're gonna step back in your stance, two, okay? Remember your step back, that's a defense for an uppercut, either a five or a six. Or if you step back far enough, that could be a defense for any offensive move, whether it's a one, two, three, four, or a five, six. Okay, so one, two, step back, two. All right, for shadow boxing, two minute rounds, time is in. Good job. So remember, same thing as we learned today, we learned how to move forward and back with our punches. Remember, keep that imaginary line in between your legs. All right, so you don't cross your feet. One, two, step back two. That's it, fully extend your punches, good. Remember to breathe and stay nice and relaxed. Good job. So remember, same thing as we learned today, we learned how to move forward and back with our punches. Remember, keep that imaginary line in between your legs. All right, so you don't cross your feet. One, two, step back two. That's it, fully extend your punches, good. Remember to breathe and stay nice and relaxed. Good job. So remember, same thing as we learned today, we learned how to move forward and back with our punches. Remember, keep that imaginary line in between your legs. All right, so you don't cross your feet. One, two, step back two. That's it, fully extend your punches, good. Remember to breathe and stay nice and relaxed. One, two, step back two. That's it, fully extend your punches, good. Remember to breathe and stay nice and relaxed. Time. Next round of shadow boxing coming up. All right, gonna be the same along the same lines. All right, we're gonna work our footwork and our punches. All right, so in our stance, right, nice and easy on our toes. We're gonna work one, one, two, three, two, and then we're gonna reset, shuffle back to our starting position, and then go again. So one, one, two, three, two, and then reset, shuffle back, go again. Okay, so remember, you're coming forward when you throw one, one. Okay, boxer is ready. One, one, two, three, two. Time's in. Good, remember when you shuffle back, always stay in your stance. Don't cross your feet, good job. That's it, stepping forward when you throw one, one. Good, and stay nice and balanced. Good work. Remember to breathe, stay nice and relaxed. Good, remember when you shuffle back, always stay in your stance, don't cross your feet, good job. That's it, stepping forward when you throw one, one, good. And stay nice and balanced. Good work. Remember to breathe, stay nice and relaxed. Good, remember when you shuffle back, always stay in your stance, don't cross your feet, good job. That's it, stepping forward when you throw one, one, good. And stay nice and balanced. Good work, remember to breathe, stay nice and relaxed. Time. Now we're 
close to the end of our workout where we work our defensive head movement drill, all right? So this drill is to help us build our muscle memory, all right? So we're in our boxing stance. First minute, we're just gonna work slip, slip, all right? Remember, moving your head off the center line, that's the key you wanna remember. If you're comfortable with that, remember to slightly bend your knees with it, okay? And then the second minute, we're gonna go under, 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 all right? Remember to go at your own pace. Go at your own pace. First one, slip, slip, go. Good job, staying nice and balanced. Taking your head off the center line. Keep your hands up on your chin. And go at your own pace. Good job, keep it up, you got it. Good, always seeing your stance, nice and balanced, breathing, staying nice and relaxed. Good job, staying nice and balanced, taking your head off the center line, keeping your hands up on your chin, and going your own pace. Good job, keep it up, you got it. Good, always seeing your stance, nice and balanced, breathing, staying nice and relaxed. Good, now we're gonna to switch to the under, under. Under, under, go. That's it, so you can see, Katula is showing us the under, under, stationary, and Ibrahim is doing the under, under, while stepping to the left and right. Remember to go at your own pace, breathe, stay nice and relaxed, hands are up, chin level, bending with the knees, keeping the back straight, eyes forward on your opponent. That's it, so you can see Katula is showing us the under under stationary and Ibrahim is doing the under under while stepping to the left and right. Remember to go at your own pace, breathe, stay nice and relaxed, hands are up, chin level, bending with the knees, keeping the back straight, eyes forward on your opponent. Time. Alright all right guys, um, so now we're starting our cool down. Um, these exercises are what we're doing. I've done them since uh, from my amateur career and on to my professional career and I've picked up a lot of these exercises um, from many different coaches, not only domestically but abroad in um, various training camps, uh, games and, uh, and competitions. So um, you guys are going to get a look into what I've been doing for 18 years as a competitive athlete. Alrighty, and remember to take your time and I invite you guys to try um, all of the various exercises, whether you can go up to the count of, of 10, 15, um, 5 or 3. So um, hang in there and have some fun. Alright, our first um, exercise, we're going to just do a simple crunch. We're going to go to the count of 15. Again, um, go at your own pace. So we're going to have our feet up, um, locked, our hands behind our head. We're just gonna touch our elbows to our knees. We're gonna go to the count of 15. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, our next exercise, we're gonna be doing um, leg raises. Again, go to the count of 15. If you can only manage to go to the count of 10, no problem, don't worry. You, got, you have to have a starting point and you can progress always. All right, so we're just gonna have our feet together, hands underneath our tailbone. We're gonna go up and down. A modified version would be having one foot down, lifting the other foot, going to the count of 10, and then switching to the other foot. All righty, so we're gonna put our feet together, we're gonna lift them up and down to the count of 15, and one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excellent job, guys. Now, our next exercise we're gonna go to scissors. So, again, go at your own pace. Two ways to do this modified version, you're gonna lift your leg all the way up one and then rotating 
um, alternating legs. Okay? So already we're going to have our feet up straight. We're just going to flutter like so. Ready? And one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Whew. All right, our next exercise, we're going to go opposite elbow, opposite knee. We're going to be working on the obliques here. It'll help strengthen when we throw our punches as we rotate our hips. All right. So we're going to have our right leg crossed over our left, left arm behind our head, and we're going to go elbow to knee. Ready to the count of 15. One, two, three, four, five. So you notice he's bringing his elbow towards his knee. He's not bringing his knee closer towards his elbow. Your elbow does not have to actually touch your knee, but just going that general cross direction. 14, 15. All right, we did one side. Now we're gonna do the other side. Again, this time our left leg on top of our right, our right arm behind our head. And we're gonna go elbow to knee. Ready, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So guys, now we're going to go on to side crunch. So we're going to, we're going to do um, one side first and then we're going to do our other. Again, this is to work with your obliques to help um, when you're turning your punches in to generate more power. Alright, so we're just going to pick a side, we're going to lay on the side. Like so, okay, get your hands up by your chin, you gotta keep it all the way up. And then we're just gonna lift, side crunch up. Ready? An easy way to uh, keep tabs is you can try to touch your calf. Ready? We're gonna the count of 15. One, yeah, two. So as you'll notice, side crunch is working his obliques, uh, his lower body is relaxed on the ground, all the motion is in his trunk, alright? So he's using his obliques, his muscles to pull himself up. Try to not use any momentum. Your neck might be a little bit tired at this point, so that's why you can use your hand to help support your head and your neck. 14, 15. All right, now on to our other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. At this point, you can see you might be getting a little bit tired, so you can do what Ibrahim is doing. You can swing your arm just a little bit, just to use a little bit of momentum. But the main thing, you always want to keep the tension in your obliques. Fourteen and fifteen. All right, our next exercise: we're gonna lie on our back, we're gonna put our feet straight up, and we're gonna try to touch our toes. So this one is a bit difficult too because one, I am not that flexible. So you'll see my knees pretty bent. I've got very tight hamstrings. I know I should be stretching and you guys should sort of do so as well. So all right, we're gonna go to count of 15. Again, feet up in the air, as straight as you can get them. We're just gonna touch our toes. Ready, and one. All right, so main thing, he's working his abs right here. You wanna keep your lower back flat to the ground. All right, your legs as straight as you can, but as you can see, if you're not flexible, you can have a nice bend in your legs. Try and touch your toes. You don't actually have to make contact with your toes, just that general direction. 14, 15. Our next exercise, we're gonna do bicycle. So we're gonna resemble the motion of riding a bike, like so. We're gonna have our feet in a cycling motion, but we're gonna add getting our elbow to our knees. Okay, so we're gonna cycle both with our upper body and lower body. Um, a quick modification, if you just wanna try it out, uh, uh, beginner level, beginning stages, just only focus on, uh, on the lower body, on your feet making the bicycle motion. All right, and then as you develop and do this more, you can add in the upper body as well. To the count of 15. One, two, three. So you can see he's pumping out his legs. His legs are not touching the ground the whole time. He's keeping his lower back flat to the ground. And as you can see, his core is engaged. His upper back is off the ground the whole time. 13. 14, 15. All right guys, next we're gonna go on to twists. So we're gonna have our feet up, cross, and we're gonna to touch the ground side to side. 
Modif a modification, beginning stages. You can keep your feet on the ground and then just touch, touch, touch. You can elevate one foot and alternate between the two and um, work your way up to having both feet off the ground. Ready? And one, two, three. All right, so for the twist, you can see his lower body remains generally stationary. His upper body is doing all the work, all right? So you're all twisting in your core and your trunk. 13, 14, 15. All right, guys, we're going on to, we're gonna do plank for the count of 15. All right, so elbows down and ready, lifting up. One, two, three, four. All right, so you can see plank is keeping him this nice, uh, his body in a nice straight line, all right? So you wanna make sure your hips are not sagging up or sagging down, your core is engaged all around. 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna go on to super plank, which is basically a plank, but you can extend your arms up into push-up position. Ready, and one, two, four, five, six. So exact same motion as a regular plank. Your body is in a straight line, but it might be a little bit harder because it just puts a little bit of work on your shoulders, which helps strengthen our shoulders for boxing. 14, 15. Now we're gonna move on to opposite arm, opposite leg in the plank position, starting with our elbow down. So elbow down, and then we're gonna go up. Like so. Alright, so as you can see, opposite arm, opposite leg. This one is a great exercise for our lumbar spine. Just keeping his back straight. Opposite arm, opposite leg, holding it out with a static hold. 14, 15. Now, other side. Alright, so now he's doing his other side, working his entire back through both ways, all right? So our lumbar spine goes through a lot of stress when we're boxing, right? Boxing, we're twisting, so it requires a lot of core strength. Remember to always strengthen your lower back as well as your abs and obliques. 13, 14, 15. Now we're gonna go on to super plank again, opposite arm, opposite leg. Just like um, how we did the regular plank, down on our knee, down on our elbows, we're gonna go fully straight up. Whew, it's actually pretty hard and tight, right? All right, opposite arm, opposite leg. One, Ooh, hard, two, three, four. All right, so this one's just a little bit harder since he is a little bit more elevated and only two points touching on the ground. The main thing, working our lumbar spine, try to keep your body straight. 11, 12, 13, almost 14, Ooh, 15. Whew, that was pretty hard. All right, now we're gonna go to the opposite side. Again, guys, this is for uh, you guys who really wanna try the advanced, uh, advanced um, plank. It's pretty hard, even me, after all of my years of boxing and training, it's still pretty hard to keep up for 15 seconds. One, two. All right, so you can see at this point, he has uh, done a lot of course stunts, so he's struggling a little bit. Main thing to remember, you always wanna keep your hips Pointing towards the ground, you don't want hips turning too much. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew! All right, now we're gonna go on to side plank. Alrighty, and one, two, three, four. Side plank, exact same thing as a regular plank. He's gonna keep his body in a nice straight plane. All right, engaging his obliques that keeps him straight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna go on to the other side of our plank, of our side plank, to the count of 15. One, two, three, four. So other side, exact same thing, make sure your core is engaged, you're, if you're on a mat, you can use your elbow. If you're on a floor, I'd suggest going in a hand, just so it's easier and you don't hurt your elbow. 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna do super side plank for our arm extended. And one, two, three, four. All right, so it's super side plank, exact same thing as regular plank. Now we're just on our hands. 
It might be a little bit harder since we have to go up a little bit more with the hips to keep our body straight. Just make sure your body's in one straight line. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna be the other side of our super plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, guys. Okay, guys, so now we're going on to some uh, back exercises. We worked on our core on our front. Now we gotta work on um, our back muscles so that uh, we can avoid injury. If you have a stronger core and a weaker back, chances are um, you're gonna injure your back because the back is not as strong as the front and it's gonna overcompensate and lead to injury. So always whenever we work core or ab exercises, we're gonna do the same for the back. Just like when you're in the weight room and you're doing bicep curls, you have to do tricep extensions so they can even out. All right, so we're just gonna get on our tummy I invite you guys to lift up his arm, opposite leg. In my, in my case, give me my left arm up, my right leg up. So we're going to go up to the count of 15. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Good. So Six. remember, go opposite arm, opposite leg. So for beginners, go nice and slow just so you're doing it correct. You can see Ibrahim's going nice and fast because he is a little bit more advanced. 13, 14, 15. All right, so now we're going to go. Now we're gonna to go to the opposite. So my right arm and my left leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. Since we're down uh, on our tummies, we're gonna do um, both arms, both legs. We're gonna lift them up together. Ready to the count of fifteen. Ready and one. Three, four, five, six. This is a great exercise, all right? It's a little bit easier than opposite arm, opposite leg. The main thing you wanna remember, always keep your hips on the ground, your arms and upper body, and your legs are rising off the ground together. 13, 14, 15. Alrighty, we're on to our last component of our cool down. We're gonna be doing push-ups. So I invite you guys, we're gonna go to the count of 15. Go your own pace, whatever, however you can get done. In my count, that's great. I will just set it as a benchmark and we'll try to get better um, our next training session. All right, so we're gonna go for 15 push-ups. Ready? And one, two, three. So push-ups is a great calisthenics exercise. Calisthenics means body weight exercise. So it's great for athletics and especially for boxing. So main thing is keeping his body straight, pushing, with his arms. If you're beginning, you can go on your knees, but you, would, you just want to keep your body straight if you're on your knees. And 15. Excellent, good job guys. That was a great workout today. Tune in for our next session and have a great night.